I have made lip recommendations and palette recommendations for Valentine's Day, and I have some more to talk about. How about some miscellaneous items, some single shadows, and some toppers for you to consider? If you're curious about all this stuff, then stick around. Hi there, it's Hélène with another video, and I'm so glad you joined me because I have just a few fun things to talk about. So I have gone through uh, 14 lipstick suggestions for you for Valentine's Day, and I will link that video right here. And I have also done a countdown of 14 palettes in my collection that make me think of Valentine's Day for some reason or another. And of course, the ones that are closer to the top really have a, a Valentine's Day feel to them. And um, so yeah, those are two neat videos, but I wanted to talk about a few products that don't really fit neatly into one of those two categories, but that can really be helpful in doing a fun Valentine's Day look. So I would like to talk about those right now. I have a few highlighters that I would like to talk about, and one of them is just so, so epitomizes what Valentine's Day feels like that I would be so remiss not to talk about it. And it is the Smashbox and Vlada Petal Metal Highlighter in Rose Mantic. And it's just beautiful. And I can tell you, I will be using this one around Valentine's Day. There's no question. And I have been using it because you'll see some wear at the top of the rose here. I just think it is so beautiful. It is a delight to use because every time I use this highlighter, it feels like an experience. And the, the compact itself, I have said in previous videos, when I am done with the highlighter for whatever reason on the inside, I will refill this compact with powder or something because I will want to keep using it. It is just too beautiful. Another one that I can't explain exactly why, maybe it's the cute packaging, the assortment of colors, but this Warm Nude by Physicians Formula, this highlighter, it just is so cute and it it might be that that kind of lacy design on the front. It just makes me think of Valentine's Day. And there is a nice pink shade in here that would be nice as a topper over another color, I'm sure. It's it's just, they're just pretty highlighter colors and they mix really well if you want to use one color more than another. It just, they're just so pretty. Um, yeah, I'll just do three three fingers here. Yeah, they're just so, so, so beautiful. I'm running out of room for swatches. Let's do it here. I don't know how much highlighters show up, but they're just they're just beautiful, beautiful colors to complement maybe a deeper tone that you're using with um, other shadows that, that you're using. Or, I mean, just swirling the brush and using these as highlighters, which is very much what it's uh, meant for. But yeah, it's just it's just such a pretty product, and I'm drawn to it every time I have romance in mind. Another product that I think is super complimentary to, to add some oomph to an eye look is this Aurora palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. There are so many colors in here that just bring a look to the next level. And of course, the one that I'm thinking of a lot is Spectra because it's this kind of a pinkish violet highlighter, but a lot of these colors would just look so, so nice as a, as a topper to other colors. And they are somewhat transformative. So the color that you see in the pan will change a lot based on what the color is underneath. So it's, it's a um, highlighting palette that I would suggest is great for experimenting. If you want to take a look, uh, bolden up a look, um, in a in an interesting way where the the look on the eye shifts I, I just think that this is a palette that can be a whole lot of fun in creating a beautiful yet softly edgy look um i i think that using highlighters as toppers is always a great idea and this palette offers some really neat options next up i wanted to talk about a few toppers and singles that i think can really add to a look so um, beyond what you can do with highlighters, one palette that I got that is purely toppers is this Enchanted Secrets, and there are a couple of shades in here that really speak to me for Valentine's Day. And you've got Moon Wave, and down here is Zephyr. 
and they're both so so beautiful and so flattering on the eye as a topper. Now of course I, I also love ethereal but I won't talk about ethereal for Valentine's Day. So there's uh, Zephyr and Moonwake and they're just beautiful layered on to another shadow underneath and um, Moonwake is pinky purpley blue it's it's such a neat neat color and depending on what you have underneath as a color it will show more of the blue or it'll show more of the pink it's really really beautiful and this is the uh, linda halberry uh, enchanted secrets if you have a um a very opaque metallic single that is also beautiful on the outer lid and this one here arcturus from the Metallic Mysteries 2 by Linda Halbari is gorgeous. It is so opaque um, and it's it's a metallic but it's I would call it a muted metallic and it is very very flattering on the eye. It goes from chocolate to burgundy in, as a color and it's beautiful beautiful on the eye to do as um, an intense color or smoking it out it's just it's a beautiful beautiful color. Highly, highly recommend that one. Now for some more accessible colors because that uh, brand is from Sweden and I realize not very many people are going to be going after that. Up next, a couple of singles that I want to talk about that uh, make me think of Valentine's Day. One of them is Woodstock by Urban Decay. Let me show you the inside. And it's this beautiful fuchsia pink with a little bit of glitter to it and it just it just looks so nice and soft but still a um, a color that is has some uh, some punch to it and then for a more sultry look there is this one that I actually got for my birthday from Urban Decay Canada this is see how nice that woodstock is and then there is relish and I think you can see how that would be more of a sultry it's, it's a matte kind of a it has a bit of a gritty texture but it blends out beautifully on the skin here it is you can see how that would be beautiful on the eye it's like between a um, a burgundy red and rust it's just beautiful and gives such a nice eye look just a smoky single color matte shadow is just beautiful. Now to pair up with these, I think that you can consider a couple of different moon dust shadows. So let me open up a few of those. So to go with Woodstock, I think that this one is quite pretty and it is called Shockwave. So I just put Shockwave right next to Woodstock there and you'll see how it picks up the purple and goes really well with the pink. And to go with Relish, I have Extra Galactic. So let me open that one up. Just brought my tweezers out so I can just open this stuff up. So it's a burgundy to gold shift on this one. It's absolutely beautiful. I think you can see how burgundy and gold would go really well with relish. I need to choose another finger here with my pinky. It's the last one I have left. <laughs> and so let's go right here. Hopefully you'll be able to see this watch. And there we go. I just layered extra galactic over relish. And I hope you can see in the middle there how they look so good one on top of the other but when you see them side by side you wouldn't really think that they go that well together but the relish underneath really makes the pinkish fuchsia from extra galactic come through and it just it's just a beautiful pairing and finally no matter what you have underneath there are some um, moon dust shadows that look fantastic no matter what you choose to put on your eye first but if you want a little bit more punch this one called Space Cowboy is absolutely gorgeous and let me swatch that one for you as well. Toppers are 
so, so good. And we should all have at least a few in our collection. Just take a look at that. Right? It's beautiful. Let me just put it on top of, maybe I'll put it on top of Woodstock so that you can see a little bit what the effect can be of putting a moon dust shadow on top. So Woodstock was matte. And do you see how it's just transformed Woodstock into this beautiful shimmery pink? It's with like this um, silver micro, micro glitter, it's just it's just beautiful. So yeah, I hope I've convinced you that some toppers are nice to have because it basically changes, it multiplies the way that you can use your base shadows. Um, so I highly recommend some of these moon dust powders, and I would say that the moon dust powders and the moon dust liquid are completely different. Let me show you what I mean. So I'd like to show you one moon dust shadow that I have in mind for Valentine's Day and then a couple of Stila's as well. So this is called Solstice. And this is a nice one to have if you need to take a look from day to night very quickly. You can put this on, on the whole lid or just the inner lid or the outer lid. It is just a beautiful color and you have a lot of precision with the applicator, which makes it great for an inner lid transformation. This one has a really neat shift. It's like, um, it goes from, from maroon to blue. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. But because it has, it's, it's a, a reddish, not red, it's like a, goes rust to purple to blue, it would go with a lot of different underlying colors. And then like I said, I want to show you a couple of Stila shadows. I have a, this one, yeah, I have a Shimmer and Glow and then a Glitter and Glow. So let's go with the Shimmer and Glow because it looks very much like the Moon Dust, at least in the container, and that is Pigali. Pigali. So let me show you that one. Again, nice to top to put on top of an existing eye look. And it's the color is just absolutely beautiful. So there is the shimmer and glow called Pigali. It's it's so beautiful, like a rosy burgundy. It's very nice. And then this one is Plum On. And I think that purples and burgundies and pinks all go really well together. Now this is a glitter and glow, so this will pack more of a punch. But I love these Stila glitter and glows because the glitter doesn't go all over the place, which is really nice. And so here is the glitter and glow in Plum On. So Plum On, this was the moon dust option, and then this is Pigali. So I hope that those show you a couple of different options that could really transform a daytime look into a date night look for um, in and around Valentine's Day. That's it. Those are the little extras that I had in mind when it comes to Valentine's Day. I could have talked about a whole lot more. I could have talked about eyeliners, could have talked about blushes, but I think we have enough. Um, if you would like to see more of um, some suggestions for Valentine's Day, even though I've got three videos worth already, uh, just let me know in the comments. Um, if there's appetite for more, I can certainly show you some more items in my collection that I think help us uh, plan and uh, deliver on our own expectations for Valentine's Day. And if you have some suggestions for products that are a must for Valentine's Day, I would love to hear those comments in the uh, comment section down below. But for now, I will say thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it very much. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.